In this video, we're gonna be talking about the KeySmart Pro Key Organizer. Go to packhacker.com or check the link in the description for more information. Now, first of all, let's talk the functionality of this. It has built-in tile. So when you open up the app on your phone, you pair it via Bluetooth. Uh, you have to have your Bluetooth and location on your phone for this to work. And you press the Find My Keys button and it'll play a little tone here. Now it's super cool. It will actually give you this green circle. Now I'm right next to my keys, so the green circle is as big as possible. Um, you know, if you can't hear your keys, uh, you get to play a little game of hot or cold uh, to try to find them. So the smaller the circle, the farther away you are, and the closer you get, the bigger it'll get. Let's turn that off. And vice versa with that, on your keys, if you lost your phone, you can double press the tile and it'll make your phone ring. Now that'll actually even work when your phone is on silent so uh, or on vibrate, so you don't have to play that game of like, everybody be quiet, let's try to find the vibrating phone in the couch. And also too, it keeps a location history. If your keys get lost somewhere and uh, they run out of battery, it'll keep on your phone the last place they were kind of like pinged at. Uh, so you can try to find them that way too. Now getting into the key smart here, uh, you can have, I think, up to eight keys in here. Um, I personally only carry two. I don't have a lot of things with keys, uh, just front door, back door. So in my opinion, it's a little thick for what I use it for. Um, but if you're someone that loses your keys a lot, this is going to be a lifesaver. I have a little key bowl next to the door, so I always pretty much know right where mine are but it could be a lifesaver if you need it. Uh, so to put your keys in here, you just unscrew these and they come with these little spacers. You can kind of see a couple in there that you can just like balance out how many keys you have on each side and just try to get them aligned correctly so they sit right and then tighten it down and then they're good to go. Um, you can tighten them down as much as you want. I have mine tightened down a little bit more just so they don't like pop out. They're pretty stiff, but also that makes them harder to get out. Now how Tom has his keys on here, uh, you know, you can see they're a little loose. They jiggle around a little bit more, but they're much easier to get to. So that's really just a personal preference thing. Now, other than the tile button on here, there is another small flashlight button and you can see on the front. There's just a small LED flashlight uh, facing in the same direction as half your keys will be. So this is great if uh, you know, you're coming home late and you can't see your lock. You can just turn on the flashlight, unlock your door, good to go. Um, if you just hold it down, it stays on as long as you hold it down. Or if you press it twice, it'll stay on for 10 seconds. And then on the other side here where the keychain attaches, um, this is a bottle opener on the other side here. So there's no option to not have the bottle opener. Uh, so I guess you're gonna have a bottle opener if you wanna hook this to your keys. The downside with this design um, is that, you know, if you have a bigger key ring on here, you won't be able to pull it out very far. So you can still open a bottle with just that much room, but it's gonna be a little more difficult than if you could turn it all the way around. Uh, the material on it is, you know, a plastic. So it's been actually holding up pretty good, um, not to, you know, a couple little scuffs here and there, but overall, uh, not too bad. It just doesn't feel super sturdy, but you know, enough to get the job done. And with there being, um, you know, a lot of electrical aspects with the flashlight and the tile. You do have to charge this, uh, just, you know, a standard USB-C charger that, you know, works with most other things nowadays. Um, unfortunately, Samsung has switched away from this charger. So I now have to have two chargers and you iPhone people have been out of luck for a while. Let's push that back in. And then the KeySmart, uh, offers the option of the mag connect. So that gives you, if you wanna, you know, attach your car keys like I have here. Uh, let's say you're going out to the bar for the night. You don't wanna have this whole thing. You can detach it and you just have your keys there. 
Now it just holds together with a magnet. Um, it's rated for about three pounds. So, you know, it holds pretty good, but if you're moving around a lot, it can come disengaged. Uh, so it's not our favorite option. Now, if you look at the Prometheus Lights Kappa, this one, you have to be much more intentional when you disengage it. Uh, you know, it works on a little different mechanism here, if you can see in there where it locks in a little better. Um, so this is, you know, it's a little more expensive option, but it's worth it. Uh, just so it only comes undone when you really want it to. That being said, if it does come undone uh, with the tile, you'll be able to find your keys pretty easy. So there's a built-in fail-safe there, I guess. But overall, we've been using it for about three weeks. It's been holding up pretty good. Uh, it's a little fat, you know, just for what it is. Um, but if you're somebody that loses your keys a lot and you have a tile, um, you know, this will be smaller overall than what your keys plus having a tile in your pocket would be. So if that's something you're interested, definitely check it out. Um, otherwise, you might be more interested in KeySmart's normal key organizer, which uh, can still hold the same amount of keys, but it's much flatter. So thanks for keeping it here at Pack Hacker, your guide to smarter travel. We'll see you in the next one.